Hi everyone. I hope you are well. In this practice, I will be using common household items to replace yoga props. I'll be using a container of wipes, Clorox wipes for a block. And I'll be using a rolled up towel, in this case, just a kitchen towel, in place of a strap. If you don't have a block or a strap, you can still practice yoga comfortably. I hope this practice leaves you feeling energized. Remember, do the parts that make you feel good. If something doesn't feel good, you can modify it or let it go. No worries. All right. Find yourself a nice spot on the floor. Anywhere in your home will do. And let's get started. We're finding a comfortable seated pose for ourselves. Your legs can be crossed. Your legs can be long in front of you. Whatever feels good to you is the right choice. I invite you to close your eyes. While breathing in and out through the nose, feel your breath as it moves through your body. Resting your hands on your legs, feel your shoulders begin to soften. Imagine lifting from the crown of your head. Your posture begins to correct itself. Long through the spine and the neck. While staying soft through the shoulders and through the face. Focus on your breath here for a few moments. Let yourself settle in. Begin to relax. Let your chin Float down to your chest, your forehead feeling heavy here, a nice stretch through the back of your neck. Breathing in and out. No worries. We're going to lift our chin halfway and slowly move through some neck circles. You're drawing a circle in the air with the tip of your nose rolling through your neck very gently. A few rotations in one direction. And then gently pausing before reversing the direction. Feel the gentle stretching, the 
as it moves through your neck. One more here. And then we'll let the chin rest at the chest. Slowly bring your head and neck back to its neutral position, softly opening your eyes. We're going to relax the arms at our side. Inhale, reach one arm to the sky and gently stretch through your side. Begin to slowly release. Take your time as you work through the other arm. Nice inhale, reach. Exhale, side stretch. Very gentle here. Slowly releasing. Nice. Enjoy a few shoulder rolls. Inhaling and exhaling. The breath begins to calm the mind and relax the body. Changing directions through the shoulder rolls. No worries. A few more here. Nice. We'll come to rest here, sitting tall, checking in with the posture. Enjoy deep inhalation as you reach both arms to the sky. Exhale, slowly twist to your right. Let your hands support this twist, whether you bring a palm to the knee or you place your hand to the outside of the leg. Gently turn your gaze. Breathe. We're going to inhale and reach arms back to the sky as we uncoil and exhale as we twist the other way. Relaxing the muscles in our forehead. Softening your shoulders. If your ear and your shoulder are coming a little too close, Shoulder down, create some space for yourself. Inhale as you come back to center, arms reaching to the sky. Let's interlace the fingers and turn the palms up. Now, if this doesn't feel good to you, you can simply reach arms to the sky. With your next exhale, relax your arms. Very nice. We're going to lengthen both legs. And I'm going to use my kitchen towel instead of a strap. Bringing it around the balls of the feet. Right? Enjoying a deep inhalation before exhaling and folding forward. Now, if putting a soft bend in the knee makes this fold more comfortable, then by all means, bend the knees, no worries. Let your head and neck relax, looking right down between your legs and enjoy the rhythm of your breath.
We're going to sit up nice and easy. Take our towel or strap off to the side. Right? We're going to bring the hands just behind the hips. The feet to the mat. We're keeping our feet about hip width apart. Fingertips pointed towards the toes. We're going to slowly press up into a reverse table pose. Eyes looking right up to 12 o'clock. Breath is smooth. And then we'll soften down nice and easy. There you go. And let's revisit that forward fold. If you're not using a strap or a towel, with your inhalation, reach arms overhead and then float into it. Listening to the breath. Staying as relaxed as you can. Inhaling up to seated. And then we're swinging the legs around, coming to table pose to move through cow and cat. A quick reminder here, keep your hands under your shoulders. We don't want extension through the arms here. Lots of support, feet are relaxed, toes aren't curled. Yeah, nice. Do your best to follow your breath. As you inhale, lift the tailbone and the chin. And as you exhale, reverse that round through your back like a cat. Inhale to cow pose. Exhale to cat stretch. And we'll do a few more repetitions following the pace of our own breath. When you release from your next cat stretch, come back to a neutral table position. We're going to walk our hands forward a generous step here. We're going to be threading the needle, opening up through the shoulder blade and the back. So with a smooth inhale, extend one arm. And as you exhale, thread through the space. Bring your shoulder all the way down to the mat. Turn your head and bring it down as well. As you breathe, you feel the shoulder blade moving away from the spine, opening up, creating space. don't like this free arm being long, consider reaching it to the sky. Good. We're going to unthread, bring that free palm near your forehead and slowly unthread the arm, bring your body up, re-lengthen the arm before the hand finds the mat. Good, and now we'll do the other arm. Again, nice extension with the inhalation. Exhale, thread through, reach away. The shoulder finds the mat. The head rests. The hips are high. Enjoy deep, slow breath here. Close your eyes. Good. Bring that free palm near your forehead and slowly begin to unthread. Good. As we bring our hands back to the mat, we're going to curl the toes and lift to downward dog. Hello. <laughs> 
a nice downward dog pose for us. Let your head hang heavy between your arms and slowly bike pedal the heels towards the mat one at a time. We're pressing evenly into the palms of the hands. The head is hanging heavy. We'll soften both heels towards the mat. It's okay if they don't touch the mat. And inhale forward to plank. Body stiff as a board. Heels pressing away from the hips. Exhale, lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale to downward dog. We're going to step our feet forward and come to a standing forward fold. Once again, you can put a soft bend in the knee for comfort, letting your head hang heavy. With a smooth inhale, we stand tall, Reach arms out and up to the sky. Let them come together in prayer and soften to your heart. We'll move through sun salutations, following your breath. Inhaling and reaching, exhaling and folding hands to shins. Inhale, gaze forward, half lift. Exhale, back to the fold. Hands to the mat. Reach just your left leg back and slowly twist open to the right. Open the gate. As you exhale, float that hand down to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog and exhale to downward dog. We'll step our feet forward and come to our fold once again. And with a smooth inhale, stand tall, reach arms out and up. Prayer hands finding your heart center. We'll keep going, inhaling, exhaling and folding hands, finding the shins. Inhale, gaze forward in your half lift. Exhale, back to the fold. Hands to the mat, reach just your right leg back now, and we'll open the gate to the left. Exhaling the hand to the mat. Inhale back to plank. Exhale to the earth. Inhale to upward dog. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. And exhale to down dog. When you're ready at your own pace. We'll step the feet forward and find our forward fold. Feel the breath, relax your face, mm -hmm. and when you're ready, inhale, rise up, prayer hands finding your heart center. We're going to do a few more rounds, nice deep inhalation as you reach, exhaling, open up the arms and fold, inhale through the half lift. Exhale back to the mat. Hands down. We're stepping back to down dog. Reaching the right leg up to the sky. 
twisting through the hips as we bend through the leg. And maybe you roll through the ankle a few times in each direction. We'll slowly recover to downward dog. And when you're ready, follow your breath. High to low plank. Upward dog to downward dog. No worries here. Stepping our feet forward and finding our fold once again. And again, rise up, inhale. Prayer hands finding your heart. Good. One more. Deep inhalation. Exhale, fold. Hands to the shins. Deep, slow breath. No worries. Hands to the mat. Reach your left, or come back to down dog. Excuse me. <laughs> and now reach the left leg up. And open up the hips. Mm -hmm. Again, you can roll through the ankle. And if you like, this feels like too much. Bring a knee down. No worries. All right. Returning to down dog. Follow your breath. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. We're going to step our feet forward. Find our forward fold. And then inhale up to standing. Relax your arms at your side. Very nice. Very nice. All right. We are going to face the front of our mat. Mm -hmm. And we're going to reach our right leg back. Plant the toes. Keep the heel elevated if you can. And bend into the front left leg. Shoulders are over the hips. Arms reach to the sky. In crescent pose. Your back heel is pressing away from your hips, not down to the ground. If you like, you can turn your eyes up, but you don't have to. Nice deep breath here. Enjoy your next inhalation and exhale, pivot the back foot, open up to warrior two. Eyes gazing over the front fingertips. Soft through your shoulders. If your shoulders are high, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Extend the arms from your heart. There you go, you got it. Gaze over your fingertips. You can close your eyes. Listen to the breath. Slowly turn the front palm skyward. Reach your front arm up. As your back arm relaxes, exalted warrior. Now, if you don't like this back arm hanging, you can wrap it behind your back. A nice little binding. Eyes can turn up to the fingertips.
a nice deep breath. And as you're exhaling, float back to warrior two. And we're gonna fold that front arm in. Bring the forearm to the thigh. That's it, keeping space between the ear and the shoulder. This right hand is going to reach at an angle, extended angle. Now, if you find that your arm wants to stay at 12 o'clock, that's okay. We're gonna do a reverse windmill, ease the shoulder, and then come to stop as the arm is pointed in my case, 11 o'clock. Nice deep breaths. Good. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, float this elevated hand down to the mat. Turn the back toes forward, both hands down. Inhale to plank. Exhale to the earth. Move with your breath. Upward dog. Downward dog. Feel free to give your head a little shake, helping to stay loose through the neck. When you're ready, step your feet forward, find your forward fold, and then when you're ready, inhale up to standing, relaxing arms at your side. Deep cleansing breath and mountain pose. We're going to do that same combination, the other side of the body. All right, so turn this way now. And we are going to reach our left leg back for crescent pose. Take your time. Again, the back heel pressing away from the hip, keeping this leg nice and strong. Deep bend through the front knee. Arms reaching to the sky. Feel the rib cage lifting away from the waist. Eyes can turn to look up, or you can look straight forward whenever you like. Relax your jaw. Enjoy a deep inhale here. As you exhale, pivot that back foot slightly. Bring it flat to the mat. Open up into warrior two. Eyes gazing over the front fingertips. Soft through the shoulders. Slowly turn the front palm skyward and then reach again, exalted warrior. You might know it as reverse warrior, same pose. Keeping the bend through the front knee strong. We're going to float back to warrior two. Fold the front arm in, bring the forearm to the thigh. Open up an extended angle. And again, if the reverse windmill works for you, whether it's one way or the other, helping the shoulder out, that's what we do. Deep 
slow breath here. No worries. Another deep inhalation. Exhale, float that hand down to the mat. Turn the back toes forward. Hands to the mat. Follow your breath. High to low plank. Upward dog to downward dog. Deep cleansing breath here in downward dog. And then we're stepping the feet forward. Coming to a forward fold. And then inhaling up to standing. Relaxing your arms at your side. Good. All right. Time for a little balance. Now, if balance is a challenge, you can always place your hand on a wall, on a piece of furniture, Anything that helps you feel stable and strong. Let's begin with tree pose. <clears throat> I'm going to balance on my right leg first. So I'm going to turn my left knee out. Mm -hmm. Hips are open. Arms are going to reach to the sky. Now you can't see my hands, it's cut off here, but I'm reaching, okay? <laughs> All right, this left foot has a lot of choices. For some of us, we're going to be content with keeping the toes down and the heel gently touching the calf of the right leg. Others are going to be a little more confident in their balance and Bring the foot up, say to the calf. Others, even more flexible and confident, can bring that foot up into the inner thigh, even up high. Engage your core. The belly's pulling in and up. And let's float out of that nice and easy. Good job. Shake your legs out. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. You can bend your knees. All right. So now we're going to bring it into the left leg. Take your time. Balance is about relaxing and engaging in inner strength that you have. Take your time. Keep that hip locked in. Don't let it pop out, right? Again, reaching to the sky, engaging your core. And then depending on your yoga practice, how you feel today, you might go with a very soft tree pose or something more challenging. What feels good to you today? Whatever feels good. I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. If you like, please join me. All right. We're going to enjoy a wide stance on our mat as we come back to our practice. And bring our hands to our hips. Mm, immediately the shoulders relax. I love that. 
right? When you're ready, you're going to softly fold forward. Now, if your hands don't come down to the mat, if your hamstrings are a little tight, remember, we usually use a yoga block. Today, I'll use my container of wipes. But you can gently bring the hands to your wipes, to your block, right? I'm going to relax my head and neck. Let it hang heavy here. Deep, slow breaths. We're going to bring our hands back to our hips. And with a smooth inhale, rise up slow. Beautiful. Now I'm going to keep my wipes with me here as we go into our second round of standing poses. I like to use a block for a deeper version of extended angle, triangle, balancing half moon. And that's where we're going. So. Turning my left toes forward and taking my wipes right to the inside of the leg near the ankle or your yoga block. This back foot is going to angle slightly. Mm -hmm. We're going to bend back into that front leg. Let's start in warrior two. Love it. Good. Now this front hand, left hand, is going to float down to my block or to whatever I'm using. A can of coffee works real well too. Good, so a little deeper version of extended angle. You can turn your eyes up to the fingertips. If this is too much, go ahead and bring the forearm back to the thigh. No worries. Deep, slow breaths. Feel the whole right side of your body opening up, releasing tension. With a smooth inhale, we're going to stand tall and go ahead and lengthen the front leg. Keep your arms reaching away from your heart as we move into triangle. The hips stay right where they are, and we move from that flexible waist, reaching. And then the arms are going to float north and south of the heart. Again, using the block, using a container of wipes or a coffee can. And some of you will reach fingertips to the earth. Do what feels good to you today. Eyes look up if it's okay with your neck. Breath is smooth. Good. Now we're going to transition to balancing half moon. You can relax this elevated arm. And bend into the front knee a little, just a little bit, because we're going to crab walk this back foot in. Good. We're taking our block <laughs> and setting it in above and a few inches over to the left of our front left foot. Going to relengthen the right arm, lifting the back leg. Here we are. Here we are. Elevated heel, pressing away from the body, opening up. <laughs> Let's float out of that. Nice. 
nice and easy. Stand tall. Beautiful. Take a moment. Bend the knees. Good. You can enjoy little twists. We're going to visit that same combination with the right leg leading. So, right foot forward, left foot back. Little angle here. Bringing the block, if you so desire, to the inside of the front leg. Warrior two arms to begin. Deep breaths. Go ahead and float that front hand down. Redirect your elevated arm to reach at an angle. Feel the opening through the side body. Nice deep breath. Mm, just cracked my own back. Bonus. <laughs> Inhale on up to standing when you're ready. Take your time. Lengthening the front leg. As you exhale, reach from your waist. And let's move into triangle. Nice and easy. Front leg is long. And if it's okay with your neck, you're looking up at the fingertips. If that doesn't feel good, look straight forward. No worries. Smooth breath. Good. We're going to begin to transition into balancing half moon. Again, you can relax that elevated arm as you slightly bend the front knee. Crab off the back foot in a few steps. Shifting the weight into the front leg. Take your block or your wipes above and then a few inches over to the side. Bring the weight into that front leg. Your elevated heel pressing away from the body. Then we are. Feel free to shake your legs out. Good. Now, a nice recovery pose from that combination is called sunflowers. We're going to be moving with our breath. So take your time. We're going to sit our feet just a little bit wider than our hips. Toes are turned out. Take a moment here. Take a few moments here, no worries. Reconnect with your breath. When you're ready, reach arms overhead as you inhale. As you exhale, bend into the knees, fold at the waist, relax your head and neck, and scoop the arms along the earth. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, come on down. So I love the visual here that as you exhale to the earth, you're scooping up a bouquet of flowers. And as you inhale to standing, you're throwing them into the air. Move at your own pace. The breath untying the knots in our body. I'm going to 
me do a few more repetitions. The next time you stand tall, that'll be the last one. Relax your arms at your side. Slowly walk your legs and feet back together. Keeping your feet at a comfortable distance. We're gonna inhale, reach to the sky and exhale to chair pose. Bend into your knees like you're sitting in an imaginary chair. Tilt your pelvis forward to encourage the tailbone to turn to the earth. Arms reach forward at an angle. But if you don't like this, open them up. Bring them to your heart. What feels good to you today? deep breath. Then we're going to inhale standing, relax the arms at our side. We're going to face the front of our mat and come into mountain pose. It's a nice tall standing pose, no worries. Shoulders relax. Fingertips reaching to the earth. Lifting through your heart. Grounded through your feet. Smooth breath. With your next inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the hands to the mat and step back to downward dog. We're going to bring the knees to the mat. Swing the legs around and come to seated pose. We're going to be balancing in boat pose. Let me turn this down. And I'm going to be using my towel instead of a strap to help me with the pose. Coming to seated, we're going to sit nice and tall, yes? Yes. I'm going to bring the towel around my feet and slowly walk my heels in so that I can balance on my sits bones. Good. Now from here, you can keep the knees bent. Nice little balance pose here. If you like and your flexibility cooperates, you can lengthen the legs. You can open up your boat. Yes, feel the rhythm of your breath. This is a great core strengthener. Keep your eyes forward and breathe. Good, bend your knees. Float the feet down to the mat. Take your towel or your strap off to the side. We're going to keep the feet together over the knees. You may know it as butterfly. In yoga, Baddha Konasana. Very nice. Hands are at the ankles to support. We enjoy a deep inhale. And as we exhale, we fold forward. 
We move the hands around for support. Breathing deeply and slowly. No tension in your face. We're going to sit up slowly. Nice length and legs long. And we're going to come down to our backs. We're going to bring our wipes and our towel along for the ride, yeah? All right, so we're lying down. Oh, this feels good, right? Yes. Good. All right. Shirt um, knotted. There we go. Very nice. All right. Let's bring the soles of the feet to the mat. The feet are hip width apart or wider, depending on any sensitivity you may have to your hips or knees. Right? Arms are resting at your side. We're pressing up from the back. Imagine someone has their hand under your back and they're going to lift you up into bridge pose. Keep your head centered, looking right up to the sky. You can walk the feet in, walk the feet wider, whatever you like. Hold on to this lovely pose. Breathe deep and slow. We're going to float down one vertebrae at a time, bringing the hips to the mat, and then bringing the knees into the chest. A nice little hug as we slowly rock side. back to center. Let's float the feet down to the mat here. Good. Get my towel here. We are going to do a nice stretch on our back for the hips, the glutes, the sciatic. So we're taking one ankle to the opposite thigh. A figure four with the legs, yes? Good. The grounded leg going to lift and pull into the chest. Now, you can wrap your hands around your thigh as you pull in and stretch through the side. But if you like, if this feels like too much, take your towel or your strap and thread it around the leg and pull in on the towel. You can relax that elevated foot, sorry. Nice, smooth breath here. That's it. Relaxed through your face. Relaxed through your shoulders. going to change legs now. You can bring the foot down to the mat and then change legs or you can keep your legs elevated. Whatever feels good to you. No worries. It's all good. Yes, we come back stretching through the hip, through the glutes, encouraging the sciatic to become more flexible. Nice deep breaths here.
One more deep breath cycle. And then we're going to float the feet back to the mat. Good. We're going to bring our arms a little wider. Mm -hmm. Palms can be up or down, your choice. Let your knees float to the right. Mm -hmm. Relax this grounded hip as best you can. Keeping your shoulder blades down on the mat. Now, if you'd like a little bit more from this, extend the top leg. You can rest the foot on the floor if you like, or keep the leg elevated. Some of you will bring toe to the hand, whatever suits. Slowly retract the top leg if necessary and bring your knees to center. Good, take your time as they float the other way. And again, if you like, you can lengthen that top leg. Hmm. I have a wall there, so I'm not gonna be lengthening that leg. Try to soften the grounded hip. Yes, let your hips melt into the mat. Pause your breath. Slowly retract the top leg if necessary. Bring your knees to center. Very nice. Knees into the chest. Giving them a hug. Now you can keep the knees over the hips or bring the knees in closer and experiment with this because depending on where your knees are resting, it will change how this rocking feels to your back. The floor will come into contact with your back in different areas depending on how you're holding your legs. So you have a lot of choices here. Stay relaxed through your face. One more time, we're gonna rock. That's it. And then come back to center and take both legs up. Feel free to have a soft bend in your knee. All right, legs up the wall, up the wall. <laughs> and the advantage of this is that it brings a little relief to the low back. Mm -hmm. That natural curvature in your low back is now pressing down into the floor. And that's offering a lovely release for your body. Breathe in and out. Begin to float the legs down to the mat. You can keep your legs long and float them down. You can bend the knees and float the feet down, whatever suits you. We're preparing for Shavasana, final relaxation. Now, if you're okay with it, keep your legs long, feet falling away from each other. If this doesn't feel good, you can bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Take your feet wide so that your knees fall in towards one another, right? Creating a little pyramid shape. If lying on your back isn't for you at all, well, that's okay. You can rest on your right side. I have a friend out there. She loves to enjoy Shavasana lying on her belly. 
who am I to argue, right? If it feels good, then it's good. Whatever pose you choose to relax in, I invite you to close your eyes. Let your body feel heavy on the mat. Feel the rhythm of your breath as it moves in and out of your body. The legs are heavy. The spine is soft. And your heart floats. There is no tension in your arms. If the tip of your tongue is pressing into the roof of your mouth, release it and enjoy the relaxing feeling through your jaw, through the rest of your face. Enjoy this time of rest and rejuvenation. And slowly move the toes and the fingers. Slowly come to rest on your right side, lying comfortably in the fetal position.
in this moment, we appreciate our yoga practice and ourselves. We slowly come to see the pose. Whatever is comfortable to you. And we bring our hands into a prayer position at our heart. all of you, I wish you well. Stay safe. Namaste.